My brothers and sisters, there was a time when someone had blown into the knots that they had made of the blessed hair of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam on a comb, trying to engage in what is known as magic against the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam. Remember, nothing harms you except by the will, permission and knowledge of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So nothing can ever happen to you except if Allah has willed it, if Allah has written it, and if Allah knows about it, and he will know about it. So the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, one might ask, why did Allah allow this to happen to him when he was the most loved unto Allah? Well, لَقَدْ كَانَ لَكُمْ فِي رَسُولِ اللَّهِ أُسْوَةٌ حَسَنَةٌ We always hear that there is a beautiful example in the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. If you were to follow him and him wholly and him alone, you would need nothing else. So, if we were to follow the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam's sunnah and his way, every morning and evening, we would be seeking the protection of Allah from the evil that is around us. What type of evil? Evil people, evil thoughts, the whispers of shaitan, whether it is magic that people try, jealousy that people might have, some the evil eye that is mentioned in the hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Sometimes you can actually affect your own self with evil eye. When is it? When you are so self-conceited and impressed by yourself that you forget Allah. You forget to connect it to Allah. You have wealth, connect it to Allah. You have good looks, connect that to Allah. You have a happy situation, connect it to Allah. By saying what? By believing this is only from Allah. He can take it away now. This is only from Allah. Whatever Allah has willed has happened. Ma sha Allahu. Tabarakallah. Tabarakallah. Glory be to Allah. Subhanallah. May Allah grant us from his goodness.